I was a biochemistry major for the first two years I was at Temple. Um, it, I thought it was what I wanted to do. And when COVID hit, I was taking classes online that I wasn't really interested in. And I think the fact that I was online taking classes plus taking classes I wasn't interested in um, came to, made me come to a realization that it wasn't really what I wanted to do. So I kind of just looked around at Temple and I always had an interest in the environment ever since I was like a kid. So I looked at the environmental science major and when I was switching, they had just created these new concentrations. So they have some in climate, some in geology or geochemistry, um, and then the ecology one. And I chose it mostly, not mostly, but partly because it was the one that fit best with the two years I had left at Temple, but also because I was very interested in biology and it was the one that fit most with biology as well. Um, I have plans after undergraduate or undergraduate uh, to do graduate research, um, hopefully to get my PhD, maybe a master's first. Um, and I definitely think I'm going to be doing field research. I'll probably be doing um, something in the realm of marine ecology, uh, which is definitely going to require me to do some field research. And this was one of the best opportunities to get my hands on uh, field research at Temple. So that's why I chose this field station. At the field station, we are working on a major project doing a forest census. Um, so the old growth forest right outside of Temple, or right on Temple Ambush campus, got destroyed by an EF2 tornado last September um, in 2021. And we are re-censusing the forest because they were censusing it before the tornado. Uh, they were about like 60% done before it got hit. Um, so we are re-censusing it and also censusing the new part that they uh, missed and before the tornado hit. And that essentially covers all of the woody stems. So any tree or shrub that is um, above 1.3 meters in height um, and large enough in diameter, like has a one centimeter diameter um, at that height, we measure and then tag and log it in this data system to see what, um, I think it'll help see what has survived post tornado and also just to get a sense for what is in the forest we have. Um, for my independent project at uh, the field station, I am working uh, with aquatic invertebrates so I am, um, the trees that have been uprooted in this forest have created these uh, pools in the ground that have filled with water. They're called vernal pools or ephemeral pools. And they're a type of wetland ecosystem. So they fill with water and they also drain throughout the season. So the summer and the spring are when they'll mostly be filled and then fall they'll kind of uh, empty out a little bit. And then in the winter, obviously they will freeze over if there's no water or if there's still water in there. Um, so last, or this spring, this past spring, um, an intern did a project on the colonization of invertebrates in these pools. So I'm continuing that research and looking at the diversity of invertebrates in these pools and how they change, how, that, how it has changed from the spring to the summer and also how they relate to one another. So seeing what pools um, have different invertebrates than other pools and why that is. So I'm looking at factors such as the distance of these pools from the creek that we have, and also um, the light that these pools are getting. And yeah, that sums it up pretty much. The hands-on experience I'm getting, um, there's a lot of benefits to it, specifically doing field research. Um, we are a very collaborative team here, which is really awesome. So when we're doing the census, we're obviously all working together, but the independent project isn't even an independent project because like I am talking with every single one of my coworkers. They're sharing articles with me that they've read that they think will relate to my research. I'm doing the same to them. Um, so the collaboration aspect is really great. And the field research itself um, is also something that I don't think I can find many other places than here. Um, at least the experience that I'm getting in this forest is really great. Um, so I think the field research aspect that Temple Ambler is offering is kind of very unique to the experience that I'm getting.